All I wanted was for us to have the perfect sleepover. And you ruined perfect breakfast! Uh. Oh, ow, ow! Oddballs is a 2D animated comedy about a boy named James and his friends in their crazy daily life. The series was created by James Rallison and Ethan Banville. The series is based on James's YouTube channel, The Odd Ones Out, and the series was produced by Netflix Animation and Atomic Cartoons. In the little town called Dirt, the show centers around James, a teen going through school and other daily things, along with his best friend Max, a talking crocodile, and a girl from the future named Echo. They all get into some crazy hijinks and maybe even learn some lessons along the way. Oh, come on. No one's going to believe that. James is a quirky boy who loves going on misadventures and ranting about things that don't matter. Hundred years! How is it that we have every smart appliance from watches to refrigerators but no one's created a smart toaster? This will often lead to him into the craziest situations. Max, the anthropomorphic crocodile, is a slightly dim-witted teen who lives next door to James. They've been best friends for a long time now and have always been there for each other. We also find out early on that Max is a genetic experiment made from two scientists whom act as his parental figures. Honey, look. We created life. Interesting. Echo is a teenage girl who claims to be from the future, a dark future where processed food went extinct. I'm from a time and place where processed food doesn't exist. Bleak future where you have to cook every meal from scratch. She loves eating food, so she hangs in the past a lot. Target acquired. Ribs located. The series also has a lot of reoccurring side characters, like their schoolmates, whether it's a unicorn girl or a school bully, or even a teacher or two, as well as a food business owner whom James flip-flops between liking and tolerating. Get out of here! Ugh. One star. The same goes for his food. There's also a security guard that reappears at times, as well as a few antagonists along the way. The animation is great to look at, it looks like a nicer and longer version of James' videos, and flows very well. As a fan of his videos, it's nice to see him grow and end up making his own cartoon on a streaming service. The fact that he started out as a guy just making videos about him working at Subways to being on Netflix is pretty cool. I'd say I like the series overall. It wasn't by any means amazing, but still entertaining enough to get me through the series. They laughed a few times here and there, and I hope to laugh more as the series progresses. With the way the season ended, I hope to see more of the show soon. So if you're a fan of The Odd Ones Out, I'd recommend it for you.